service is back up and running this morning after the relentless snow brought above ground service to a halt yesterday. MTA Chairman Pat Foy joining us again this morning with what commuters can expect today on this Groundhog Day. Mm -hmm. We just heard about six more weeks of winter. Pat, good morning to you. And good morning. I think we got our six weeks of winter yesterday. Yeah, seriously, right? <laughs> right? All in one for the next few years. So, hey, let me ask you first and foremost, for those who are heading out the door this morning, trains running on schedule? Yeah, trains are running schedule. We resumed uh, uh, above grade service, above ground service at uh, 5 a.m. as we did all subway service. Buses are running 75% of uh, normal schedules. Metro North and Long Island Railroad uh, began service around 4 a.m. There were some uh, scattered delays on the Hudson line on, uh, on Metro North. Uh, but uh, MTA forces uh, before, during, and uh, after have done a tremendous job. Customers ought to be advised, you know, platforms and stairs, especially above ground, may be slippery. Uh, Sarah Feinberg's got 10,000 of our colleagues out uh, cleaning yeah. up the system. But all things considered, given the enormity of the storm, uh, the MTA forces did a terrific job. Yep, it was a quick response indeed. So when we spoke to you yesterday morning, you didn't expect to have a shutdown to the service. What was the turning point? When did you have to make that call and shut things down? Uh, well, first, we, we've got various plans. The plan for uh, above ground shutdown goes back to 2015, 2016. We've been reviewing all our options as the uh, uh, as the storm approached, we too, you know, took advice from the National uh, Weather Service. Mm -hmm. And as the uh, severity of the storm became uh, clearer, we made the decision, which in retrospect was clearly the right one, uh, to shut down above ground subway service and service on Metro North and Long Island Railroad. New Yorkers are smart, and they took ad advice from the governor and uh, the MTA and other agencies to stay home yesterday if you had that option. If you're a first responder or essential worker, obviously not an option available to you, but right. ridership was low, and that helped, uh, frankly, with shutting the system down and bringing it back uh, early this morning. Yeah, I mean, it came down fast and furious right after we spoke. It really began to pick up, so I can see why you had to make that decision. MTA bridges and tunnels, they do have some restrictions that motorists need to know about this morning, right? So what are those? No, uh, Dan, th those have been lifted. Uh, oh, okay, the great. Uh, ban on empty and tandem trailers uh, came off at 6 o'clock. Okay. Uh, there's no uh, mile per hour restrictions, and obviously we're continuing to monitor that. Uh, Let me ask you situation. this, Pat. Um, and while we have you here, and it's, it's not really related to snow, but more so about vaccines and people trying to travel to the vaccines and people who want that right. overnight service resumed. And that's going to be my new question for you, right? Is when will, you know me, I always ask you the same question over and over again. So I found my new one and it's sure. when will overnight service come back because people are kind of demanding it now. Well, look, uh, we are going to take uh, certain actions to, uh, the, uh, for instance, uh, one of the facilities that's closed uh, yesterday and today, uh, you know, the facility at City Field will open. So we're going to put service on the Port Washington branch uh, that will stop at the Willits Point uh, station, which mm -hmm. is very close to uh, City Field. We'll, we'll be running, obviously, subway service uh, to the... Uh, uh, to the city field stop on the uh, on the seven line when and bus service will uh, will will continue. Dan, uh, the the answer continues to be the same. We're disinfecting the subway stations uh, and uh, cars multiple times a day. That's really important work. It's why we shut uh, one a.m. to five a.m. beginning on uh, May sixth, and we're looking forward to the happy day when Governor Cuomo declares the. Uh, uh, pandemic over and at that point we will uh, begin to bring 24-hour uh, service on the subways back. But shouldn't Pat the disinfection continue no matter what right so is there a way to modify this so you don't have to shut it down for that four-hour period is there a way to I guess you know rework the schedule? Well uh, Betty we're, we're going to continue to disinfect and clearly every transit agency in, in, in the world uh, is, is going to has changed and the changes will continue to evolve in terms of, uh, of disinfecting. So we're not going to stop disinfecting, but when the, when the governor declares the pandemic to be over <clears throat> is the point at which we'll restore the 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. Uh, service. I, I also want to note that we are running bus service right. uh, that uh, you know mirrors the service on, on many sub subway lines, and that's 24-7 throughout the pandemic. Uh, right. MTA Chairman and CEO Pat Foy, I appreciate you coming back two days in a row and taking yes. the curveball of a question. I know we were supposed to only talk snow, but you're always open to anything, and I always appreciate the conversation. Good to see you, Pat. Thanks for having me. Take okay. care. Thanks.